Standards-based grading is a philosophy that uses the gradebook to communicate students' strengths and weaknesses relative to the big ideas or standards of the course. In this example, John Doe received his quiz, and the score goes directly into the gradebook. John and John's parents do not know if the 14 out of 16 indicates that he understands most of the big ideas assessed on the quiz, or if he just made one small mistake. This is not an example of standards-based grading. This is an example of a traditional grading system, the type of grading most of us are familiar with, where assignments, tests, and quizzes, and even other non-academic tasks are all reported in the overall grade. A score or percentage alone do not often tell the entire story. If the two points John missed represent an important concept he did not understand, this information is hidden in the traditional grading system. The focus may be on the percentage or grade rather than the learning. When a student sees the grade he or she has earned, it may be a mystery how it was calculated. A B in one class may mean a student has demonstrated understanding of 88% of the big ideas. In another course, a B might mean that that student has demonstrated understanding of all of the big ideas, but he or she forgot to turn in several worksheets in a traditional grading-based system. There may be considerable variability from class to class when it comes to letter grades. In standards-based grading, specific quizzes or assignments are replaced with standards. Along the top of this visual, you will see the names of big ideas or standards for the course. For example, SEP1, which is a science and engineering practice about asking questions. Each standard is reported using a predetermined scale rubric. In this example, a four indicates that a student understands the concept or the skill. Students and parents can clearly see where additional help is needed, if any. In the Learning Mastery Gradebook in Canvas, students and parents will see a reference to the class standards, as well as the student's current level of understanding related to those specific standards. In our standards-based grading system, letter grades will still be reported. They will not be eliminated. Student mastery will be transferred over from the Learning Mastery Gradebook to the Assignment Gradebook as letter grades at the grading reporting periods, and they'll be posted on official transcripts and included in the GPA calculations. So how are letter grades calculated when using standards-based grading? In Canvas, in the assignment gradebook, you will see two assignment categories. Assignments, which is where all of the class assignments will live where students will find and submit assignments. Um, but these assignments are actually all worth zero points and 0% of the letter grade. There will be separate rubrics in these assignments that are for their learning mastery. And those are what you would see in the learning mastery gradebook. But it will still show up in the gradebook as a zero point assignment. The second category is where their grades will be transferred over to. So from the learning mastery gradebook into the assignment gradebook. And it's worth 100% of the grade. So the student mastery levels from the learning mastery grade book will be transferred over, and this is how you will see the letter grade. So in the learning mastery grade book, there's two grade books in Canvas. The learning mastery grade book is where students are going to earn their points for mastering the learning standards on a four point scale. So the rubrics that you will see on each of their assignments that they complete are what are giving them their mastery or measuring their mastery of the standards. So they will be assessed multiple times on this standard throughout the semester, as well as have the opportunity to fix and resubmit work with no penalty. Each assessment will be averaged into the same standard column in this gradebook using what's called a decaying average. So as students improve their mastery, their score on the four point scale rises. A student who has met the expectations with the three or above it will turn green and show that they have mastered the standard. So this is what a student might look like for their mastery grade. So you see, in the, this is in the learning mastery gradebook, you see all of the different standards and you see average scores from multiple different assessments of each of these different standards. 
At the grading period, standards that students have had the opportunity to show their mastery of at least three times will be transferred over into that assignment grade book. And that's what's used for their letter grades, and it will be in the standard score category. Each standard assignment is worth four points, and it's in the standard category, so it's going to be counted towards that letter grade. You will notice that the grading scale percentages are very different than what you might used to be seeing. Each letter is divided up into 20% bands. So this student, when their learning mastery grades were transferred over into the traditional grade book, you will see that the student has a 63.3%, which, but it says a B. 63.3% is traditionally a D on a traditional grading scale, but with the transfer over from the learning mastery grade book, this actually would be a B in the grade book and a B on their transcript. So how does the conversation change between students and teachers? When using a standards-based grading system, you are going to hear different conversations. So in a traditional grading system, nothing really changes. Students may raise their grade by completing extra credit, doing better on the next test, or completing assignments that are past due. The conversation is not always on learning the big ideas, which is kind of the whole thing. We want students to understand the concepts and to learn. And instead, it may be on doing something rather than the actual learning itself. In a standards-based grading system, student grades are based on their level of understanding related to the core standards. In order to raise student grades, they need to demonstrate a higher level of understanding of past and future standards. And new levels of understanding replace the old levels of understanding in the gradebook. In a standards-based system, students study and learn because they know their current levels of understanding. In the traditional grading system of the past, students study and complete assignments because they're told to do so, because they want to just get that A, they think they have to complete all the work, and they may not do a great job, they're not necessarily learning. A standards-based grading system has the potential to motivate students to learn at high levels. I do not anticipate seeing any long-term changes in GPAs from students going from a traditional grading system into the standards-based grading system. However, I do believe that quarter and semester grades in a standards-based grading system will be a better and more accurate reflection of students' learning. So why standards-based grading? First, I believe that this will improve communication between teachers and parents, as well as students, related to the student's understanding and knowledge of big ideas. This feedback can be used to help students move beyond what they already know, to continue moving forward, to help ensure that the parents and teachers and students all know what they need to spend more time either teaching or learning. This process is called assessment for learning. Using student assessments results to help determine what should be taught or retaught in the future giving students the opportunity to build upon their knowledge and to grow.